<laughs> Welcome right. everyone to another state of play. Uh, oh, again, okay. sure. Bind sign is the base on his own mission, mostly focusing on actually tank weak to part, plus two indies. We'll the see what PS5 they are. Gameplay coming right up. But first, mm -hmm. let's check in on two other exciting games coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles. I can't wait to see Anna must die. <laughs> but yeah, we got, a couple of, we got a couple of other projects. Okay, first the... Oh, Subnautica! The Subnautica sequel, actually. A bit rough. That's a thing. I don't know what that is being explained. Um, actually, you should have. Uh, it was uh, the first one was released with the Play at Home initiative recently. It's basically. I mean, it's. Take any of the play at home games. Your loss. A free game is a free game at the end of the day, Dad. But anyway. The previous research crew has vanished, including your sister. Anyway, to sum it up, uh, essentially, that it's an indie game, but you can sum it up with Markiplier's catchphrase on it. Fuck the ocean. But even that may not be enough. Is this VR only or no? No. No. But it is compatible. Thankfully, it is not VR exclusive. This sequel is all themed about ice and, you know, creatures tied to that. being sent right into your hands. The haptic feedback system allows you to feel each adrenaline feel The first one was an interesting project which combined you surviving to a mystery, moments. actually. I wonder if this sequel also will do that. How about, how about VR who wants to be a millionaire? Fortunately, when you no play points. Below Zero on PS5, players will get a crystal clear well, Jaber, is there ever a point to VR graphics, games? Targeting 60 FPS when in performance mode. Oh, and, and you get the first game for free if you buy this. So that's nice. That said, though, okay, look, all joking aside, Libs, some, some, some VR games do have a point. Not all, but some. I will still say this. So now we've got I heard Asher's play bot was good. Oh, yeah, Among but... Us. Oh, Alright, Tia, you know what we have to do? Game nights for Among Us. Sure, why not? Your channel, my channel. Swift. I'll play. I'll be terrible, yeah. but I'll play. <laughs> Coming to PS4 and PS5. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. Ratchet? Clank? Yeah, I also get a Ratchet and Clank skin. Ah, oh, cute. Oh, let me. Well, uh, the uh, yeah, it's kind of like how um, Aloy is in Fortnite. Sure, why not? We can't wait to dive deep into Subnautica Below Zero and make baseless accusations against our crewmates in Among Us later this year. Looks like Ratchet and the gang are ready for the spotlight. Next up, Insomniac Games will lead us on a tour of this June's PS5 action adventure. Oh, let's see. So now we've got um, uh, Jennifer Hale as a Lombax. Yes. No surprise, Jennifer Hale is a... <laughs> Jennifer Hale is like one of those common voice actors that you hear in a lot of stuff. She was in Mortal Kombat 11. Yes, she was. Yeah. She was a uh, chronic atomic right? Yeah. It's such a shame that they didn't get her to play Frost because then that would have been a perfect casting gag because she plays Killer yeah, Frost. True. Also, in case you guys oh. are worried about... In case you guys are worried about the writing, the people that wrote this one did uh, that Miles Morales game. Yeah, I'm just um, hoping that we don't get a repeat of the 2016 uh, I game. I heard this, the plot to that game. Why does it think Joe? After the 2016 the debacle, um, uh, the, the original director of the series uh, stepped down, and now we have a new director, and like they've said, new writers. So, yeah, we're, we're starting. We're starting with a clean slate. Okay, cool. Just as long as it doesn't try to be our funny. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem to be what they're going for. I mean, granted, I, I we've just only. Hope it doesn't, it doesn't. Also, dude, we're kind of just oh, seeing the surface of stuff here, so yeah. What is this place? Let's have a look. So this comes out in June. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and after all these years, and Sonic has done it. They have created a video game that looks like an interactive think? Pixar movie. Like, uh, seriously. This, uh, um, the, uh, ever since the, 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 the trailer from a couple of days ago released, charming? people have been talking about how, uh, how the game looks. Yeah, it, it, it really is the Wait. next but Wait, which Pixar Ratchet movie, though? Well, I mean, which era? And, and because, like, the recent ones. Uh, and a Actually, we've sprawl. already passed Toy Story 1 and 2. 
Well, no shit. I'm not wrong. I, mean, I, hope, I, hope we, I hope we'd be past Toy Story 1 at this point. I mean, I mean, the, I mean, the Toy Story world in Kingdom Hearts 3 looks better than Toy Story 1 and 2. Um, like, like, so, it's just one of those games where animation has evolved a lot since in the mid-90s. CG animation, yeah. I mean. So would you say yeah, we're looking like... Would since you say we're... Gonna say, yeah. would you uh, say... How about this? How about this? It looks like uh, so something like Incredibles 2, since that's a more action-packed uh, movie like uh, this one is. Like this game is. Yeah. I was that one cool Reggie quickly finds out that in this dimension, Doctor sure. Nefarious yeah. is a much sure. more capable villain. So yeah, and, it's more, and it seems like we're, and it's a dual protagonist game. We're gonna play as both Ratchet and Rivet, so it should be really cool. Oh, NFT. You think we're gonna see a gender back Captain Quark? Emperor? Would not be surprised. There are two Maybe a... Uh, no, that's the reboot. Clank first. Yeah, do it. The reboot is not canon to this. Thank Christ! No, 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 no. The Marcus Smith specifically confirmed that the reboot is now moot and this is a, this is the next uh, uh, installment following up. And there was much rejoicing. Yeah. Okay. Let's be honest, Dweebs. If that thing had been successful, let's be honest, Dweebs. If that thing had been successful, they would have made it canon. Like. The whole yeah. writing it up it as a re success. Yeah, it depends on your perspective. It, it was it was successful. It was successful enough, but uh, the reception not, was not the ne not not the Renaissance, the Russian Clank Renaissance that they were expecting. Which Pretty is much. Why the, 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 the I mean, it, did, it didn't help. It was tied to that movie. I remember that the, the director of the Russian Clank series, where they every single game and directed also the reboot, stepped down after that re that. It's a game, so that should tell you something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically we're in an alternate dimension where Doctor Nefarious is apparently oh, finally is taking control. No, <laughs> I need to go after that ship. How can I get off planet? Listen, Tess. Only royal starships are allowed what? to leave anything else. Yeah. Oh, phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Oh, goody. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent uh, Zircon. Yeah, I see this thing in Captain Scarlet. Someone working a shop so store turns out to be part of... <laughs> Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. All right, look then. around. Hey, yeah, James, I'll tell you once again, please watch it. No surprise there. Is the guy that voices Clank? Uh, yes, the guy who voices Clank also. Uh, all the returning characters have, have the same voice actors, from what I can tell. I think I think James Arnold Taylor was. No, he did, he voiced started the second game. The first game was somebody else. Man, Ratchet feels so <laughs> naked about Clank on his back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not, well, that's how it, well, to be so fair, Edge, that's kind of how it is at the beginning of both the first game and the reboot, so I guess, um, got it. Here you go, um, any of you Ratchet fangirls, you have a load of Ratchet's back, I guess. I wonder if we'll get a death to Squishy's remix. Well, don't tell me I'm the only one who remembers that song. What I love, what I'm looking forward to most oh about the uh, new move. What I'm looking most forward to about this game already. is the. What I'm look, most looking forward to about this game is the how they're using the SSD to allow you to just switch dimensions on the fly during the level. That opens up a whole new world of possibilities for level design. Lovely. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can yeah, this game looks cool. Like this focus on mobility allows well, actually, players to actually, change yeah, yeah. together to create exhilarating. Yeah, I, I was gonna say it's like it's like Crash Four, but uh, a lot of games are like Sonic like Boss World. Oh, oh that's you. Uh, if you not Crash, and what do you think of Mark Mothersbaugh doing the score for this game? Ah, that's a that's a because of the no. For those who don't know, Mark was the composer for the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy and the Jack and Dexter trilogy. Well, from what I understand, Mark Mothersbaugh was just a producer on those. It was actually Josh Mansell doing music. Pretty much. But, um, oh, okay. but, um, 
But it is, but even so, it is nice uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with, with an old PlayStation guy putting that for a PlayStation game, even if it isn't the actual composer. Oh wow, he has movement, he can click dodge. He can also strafe, of course. Use the rift and Sonic like actually shared uh, a couple sample tracks, and the main thing sounds pretty awesome, actually. I do wonder if the dimension the hopping apart, will be, you know... Uh, okay, not necessarily scripted, but I do wonder if you'll be able to experiment with different dimensions, or if it'll mainly be a thing where, okay, you need to change here to proceed, and so on and so forth. I, I think it'll be like how... You know how Galaxy does the transit. In either case, planet to planet. Will this is just to show off how fast loading times are. Pretty much. With the enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, or pull the picking advantage of the uh, PS5 controller. Close range sense. attack. Thanks well, to the haptics, the player I mean, especially will for a game like this, a game like Ratchet and Clank, is, it, it just begs for to make use of a dual sense. Although, I'll be honest though. Whenever I get, whenever I get Let's the trigger the um, thing on my controller, half the time I worry that my controller's broken. As Ratchet <laughs> attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Uh, here. Where did you even come from? I'll get to find the PS2 trilogy eventually. I just need to. Yeah. The PS2 trilogy is available on the PS4. Uh, um, yeah, well, I, I, mean, I, I have the whole HD this collection. Fight, right. dimensional well, I mean, in terms of, I mean, in terms of continuity, I'll be jumping into this the power of the SSD, one line, we can so. near instantly Oh, you're going to start the series at this game? Oh, the Marcus Smith specifically said that uh, this game will be newcomer friendly anyway. Oh. Yeah, he, he said specifically that, uh, like according to Marcus Smith, there's going to be some nice references for older fans, but they've made sure the story is approachable Let's to newcomers. Jump over and see what's going on with I do hope that doesn't mean that they essentially don't have any throwbacks to old stuff, because, again, while it's good to have stuff newcomer-friendly, you, you shouldn't always go too Rivet much in one direction in spite of, you know, the old fans who have Where wanted a like new and proper one. I well, like I said, Joe, but he did say that they were gonna they're gonna have throwbacks to the old games. What I mean is like, well, I hope that you know they're nice and substantial. Like, don't get me wrong, I get I get wanting newcomers, but don't do it to the point where it feels like there's nothing really for your old fans to make it feel well, like this is connected proper to the old times. Well, remember, Joe, but um, into the Nexus ended with uh, Clank recovering the Dimensionator. And this plot is about the Dimensionator, and the Dimensions, so it still looks like it's following up on that. Oh, uh, yeah. And we had to make Nefarious the bad guy again. Hey, 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 hey. Nefarious is a great bad guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's actually my favorite of the Russian villains, personally. Like, 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 it does feel like uh, we're doing him That's again to be fair to be well, fair it's been it, it's been ages Back since the last Zirka, proper the ratchet and clank well, game wasn't was he in into the nexus time. no that is no that game, that that game, that game had new villains actually okay in rift apart you get to play um, with an remind me um, as well as oh, yeah, a few was, returning classics <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. Oh boy, are we going to go Bionic Commando on this? Feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Let me clarify: the good Bionic Commando. <laughs> when enemies have been topiary <laughs> and are ready to be treated. Uh, well, that's interesting fate, Joe, because um, from what I understand, as well as producing that ill-fated um, one, Ben Judd also produced a um, decent. <laughs> the pseudo remake of the classic. No, I mean there was this, there was this other Bionic Commander game that 
alongside. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Rift yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Rearmed there are also edition. Many pocket dimensions but yeah, basically, the G, the last main series game, because uh, there were some spin-offs in between Crack in Time and uh, Into the Nexus. The last main series game to have Nefarious uh, was actually a Crack in Time in 2009. So it actually has been a while. All right, smarty bot. What is this place? I um. A dimensional pocket? Perhaps a Rivets and Clank. Well, it, it was few words that they did but, that they did shoehorn him into the reboot remake. It's like, mm. hey, it's uh, it's, it's uh, hey, the Chairman Brick. No, no, it's not nefarious. Ah, Drax sucked in the remake. Reboot, yeah, reimagining. Well, I mean, at least in the, I mean, at least in the game, I could ignore it. Whereas in the movie, it's yeah. It's Honestly, kudos to you to being able to ignore it in the game, because a lot of fans sure won't, because you know, story can be. Well, I mean, it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit easier to ignore something in a game than it is. Eh, not necessarily. Uh, story and game are supposed to go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Depends on the game. Yeah, and Ratchet and Clank is one of those games. So, but yeah, looks like we'll have some riding stages, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I too, like they brought back, That's a pinjo, but they brought back the, the hover uh, races from uh, the first game, it seems, based on the latest trailer. I do wonder, though, what the exact plot of this is going to be, because we know that at least in one of these worlds, Nefarious is taking control, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Nefarious is the main villain of the story. Wait, say, say his name again? Nefarious. Nefarious? Anyways, my, my guess, Joe, is... I thought you said um, Nefar, oh, okay. My guess, well, my guess is to remember the one major plot of Ratchet and Clank that is still unsolved is, of course, Ratchet's fun trying to find the other Lombaxes. So, of course, most likely Ratchet has a lot of questions for Rivets. So, well, we're probably gonna focus more on Ratchet. Maybe this is the dimension that Joel from, uh... A crack in time. I don't. I don't know who's gonna sit and make. I if you watch our previous jokes. gameplay demo, you may recognize Something. the goons for less. This rebranded gang has been hired by Doctor Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank. What, what was the guy? The other long back in Rivet's Clank dimension. Time? Here's uh, another new weapon. I actually forgot his name. Bomb um... is a frag type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. Oh, I just Feedback again. That's that's why I keep hearing people just call him Joel. Joel Joel from the. Well, that game was 2009, though, was way before that. You, you can still make those comparisons, but, like, just a matter of what you for. Yeah, you know, so you talk about Quark being female in this universe. What if Quark's actually properly brave and heroic in this universe, though? <laughs> I'm not sure. What, I'm not sure okay if they're going to take a kind of Sonic Rush uh, approach, where in the same way that um, Rivet is the Ratchet of her dimension, we're gonna have a uh, um, an, an nefarious Nega. Yeah, because this is a universe where nefarious want. Well, yeah. So in that case, yeah, we're probably gonna have two nefarious uh, working together at some point. We'll see. This yeah. is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart. But there is so much more. We have open areas to explore. Dimensional clank puzzles. Charming. Glitch. 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 Oh, they provide clank. Awesome. Well, of course. Arena challenges. Well, it depends. Some games don't have a uh, uh, clank Aerial sections. Combat. Yeah, I know. Dragon riding. That's nice. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Obviously. Armor to obtain and Ooh, use boy, in the first those. ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. Wow, that's just standard for even Thank you, Spider Man. Um, even Bug War. Yeah, Bob they were doing it even before Spider Man did. Yeah, As true. But Bowser's Fury, even, even Bowser's Fury has a photo actions. mode. Even Nintendo's we'll starting to catch on with that Experience trend. Rift Apart's new and Nintendo were on that trend since, like, the start of the Switch. And near instant load times, all with some of the well, best like, visuals we've ever created. Well, did Odyssey have a photo mode? That for the wild, oh, dude. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Odyssey did have something of a photo mode. They were select they said... What? Did Odyssey have a photo mode? On yes. behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, again, did Breath of the Wild as well. See you in the Omniverse on sure. June 11th. Right. 
that's our show. We explored the depths of an alien Alrighty. ocean, got a first look mm -hmm. at Among Us that's on PlayStation, the, that's the show. and zipped across space of and course. time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Goodbye. Ta ta. That's it. No PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> again soon. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, uh, that, 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 that chip has sailed. Um, all right, that was it. Final thoughts, I guess. Uh, well, there is this little. Well, a wonderful surprise. Surprise. But, but it's it's the same trailer we what saw a few days want, ago. Nefarious. Oh, okay. Well, you guys haven't seen it though, so might as well. I always win. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this one, so. Yeah, but uh, I we haven't sure though. Has. Where am I? Oh no, the thingy! Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go. You for mean the Dimensionator? Wait. Yes. I have to find my friend. Yes, the thingy. Precisely. Emperor Nefarious, you have returned. Yes. Emperor. Like, <laughs> huh? You're Nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him too. That Lombax. Coming, I'll say this: Insomniac is probably if the best developer Sony has got in their roster at the, the, the time being. Oh my! Like there was this, there was uh, Spider-Man, and that's it. Unless they make a new Resistance game. That would make Theo happy. Oh, it's interesting because Marcus Smith was actually the director of Resistance 3. And plus it overdrive before he directed this. There you go, that's the trailer. Now that Alright, now, now Final Fantasy yeah. gets. Yeah, um, um it was good. It was good, it was fine. They definitely showed off the game. Um, I don't quite have a PS5 yet, so I can't exactly get too excited for this game, but I do have hopes that this will redeem the damage that 2016 did. So, <laughs> yeah, good luck. Um, okay, so um, as someone whose only real experience with the series was the 2016 game, a game that I did enjoy at least for the, uh, for the, for the gameplay, and at least, uh, Cutting, cutting down the movie a bit. <laughs> you gotta love that. One of the best compliments. It cut down story from the god awful movie, despite adapting it into its story. Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I did enjoy. I did enjoy the game. But it'll be interesting now when I'm getting into this one that doesn't just lift that gets cut scenes from the um from from the film and has its own and has its own story for a change um so th i mean it looks pretty interesting enough we've got the um near instant load times thanks to the ps5's uh ssd you've got um you've got the different playable characters you've got all the different gameplay stuff so it'll be um so yeah it's definitely gonna be interesting when i get this in um in uh, in in June, and uh, hopefully we can, and hopefully it will uh, enable all the uh, fans to uh, recover from having their water supply poisoned and their crops burnt down and the plague put onto <laughs> their houses <laughs> on the last from the last game, I guess. Maybe. Well, okay, well, here's the thing, Dubs. Here's the thing: Into the Nexus kind of ended on a loose end. And that's one of the big reasons why the decision to now suddenly reboot the series was met with what? confusion, and which, probably is, which is why we're which is why we're glad that we're back at the what at this, especially now we're focused it, on the Dimensionator. So it, it was more a case of one, the movie was coming out; two, Insomniac always wanted to remake the first game for a while now. I, I so. think it would have. Think... I think the first game did get a bit of flack in some places. As a lot of first games tend to when you have better sequels to look back on, the problem was that the reboot did not improve on all accounts. The gameplay was an improvement, yes. But everything else, uh-uh. No. It was interesting because uh, of the original trilogy, the first one is actually my favorite. <laughs> so I personally never really needed, uh, wanted a, a remake. I thought the original was fine, personally. <laughs> so. Personally, yeah, too. Well, I guess, 
I guess a specific one could be if you wanted to play the first game but prefer James Arnold Taylor's voice. There you go. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, the voices aren't, weren't even all that different, at least not to me. But well, go ahead. Was there a Portuguese dub of uh, Ratchet yes. and Clank? Yes, and this game is also getting it. All the actors yeah. that have always been playing the characters are returning. Yes, and they also did the yeah. movie. It's a typical. Um, it's typical. So Sony, Sony, Sony usually gives Portuguese. Now, rem now remember, Debs, we actually have a PlayStation in Portugal here, so obviously ah, they are the ones who handle things. Ah, so I see you're not having to rely on Brazil. There is a Nintendo Portugal, but they don't really do anything. They don't translate anything. They don't dub anything. They're just kind of publishing. Don't get me wrong. I'm don't get me wrong. I'm glad they're publishing, but couldn't we, you know. I don't know, have at least some kind of Portuguese texts, but whatever. All right, so uh, yeah, overall it looks it looks really fun. All right, uh, Dej. Well, you already know my story with the series. The first exposure was Size Matters. That wasn't good. <laughs> then I played the PS4 game. That was Ooh. a little good. So I'm kind of hesitant. I was like, hmm, maybe... This Allow series is it. Here's what I recommend to you, Dej. Uh, play uh, Tools of Destruction uh, and then A Crack in Time, because those two games in particular uh, are part of an arc. You don't need to play um, Quest for Booty. Don't worry, that game is just nothing but filler. Oh, um, but Pedro, I'd love to hear his reactions to Quest for Booty. Sure, well, whatever. If, if, you know what, if, buy me the game and I'll do it. Well, okay. The point is, but here's what here's what happens. That depends. Like the original trilogy is more on the funny side. If you prefer something that's a bit more Pixar-y and a bit more heartfelt, I definitely recommend Tools of Destruction and especially A Crack in Time, which tells the best story in the series. A Crack in Time is genuinely a great game. Well, a Crack in Time does look good. It's just I I, I do I am afraid that maybe the PlayStation Two era platformers aren't really for me, and I'm just the and then 64 PS1 guy. I would That's recommend cool. giving Ratchet 2 and 3 a try at least. Well, I mean, I guess that would also pretty much require you looking at the original Ratchet one because, like we said, the story in the remake craps on the original. So, yeah. But still, <laughs> you know, do with it what you want. I won't deny it does sound like you've had a pretty bad first impression of a series, though, looking at two of its stinkers. Mm -hmm. And the less said about Jack and Daxter, the better. But this game does look good. It's like, it has movement. It has parkour. And it's like, the weapons look really fun. So when mm -hmm. I eventually get the a PS5, or I steal my brothers, I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I'll, I'll pick it up. Okay. Well, well that's the thing. As someone who personally prefers the future trilogy over the original trilogy, uh, I can tell you that based on what we've seen so far, this this game seems to definitely be going more for the tone of of the the, the future trilogy rather than the original trilogy. So it's it's a bit more balanced, not just trying to be funny all the time. If it helps you, since you were, yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Ho hopefully, it's good. Also, we should do Among Us nights. Sure, I. <laughs> it looks really good. I I I've played one game in the series. It... What? wasn't very good. Which one? Which one? One of the PSP ones. Oh! Uh, size matters. See, that's the thing, right? that one wasn't made by Insomniac, so... Not only that, it okay. had... Well, I didn't uh, like it, so... Bad Someone stuff. told me that was the first game in the series that they remade it for PSP. No, 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 nobody really likes Size Matters. Um, <laughs> carry, carry, carry on. Well, that's how, it. That's how, 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 at least the PS4 game has good gameplay. That size matter doesn't even have that good gameplay, but go ahead. <laughs> it, it would be nice to play this at some point. I don't have a PS5 and won't be getting one anytime soon. But, no, it's there. It looks great. Alright, as for me, uh, no, I'm definitely happy to see Minsonic going back to the future series. Uh, because, well, yeah, I'm, I'm part of those who just would reacted to the announcement to, uh, to in 2016 with were because <laughs> so i'm glad and so i'm glad in, that, so i'm glad that fever that insomniac was in back in 2016 has passed <laughs> thank uh, goodness yeah 
So, no, 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 no. I'm definitely going to give this game a shot, not only because they, they seem to be doing ex two things. One, they're finally following up on the Dimensionator storyline. Second, um, they're, uh, they're actually, it's actually a full-length game. Don't get me wrong, I did like Into the Nexus, but that game was only like five hours long. Um, so I'm glad that um, I'm glad that they're making a full-length epic, a big-scale game again. Um, and third, I'm definitely looking forward to the, the infusion of new blood in the series. Because remember, the, here's a here's a fun fact. Uh, in fact, she the um, the director of uh, of, 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 the, uh, of the Russian series was also the director of the first three Spyro games. Let me actually get his name. Um, and uh, he directed every single of the main series games up until the 2016 game, and after the 2016 game, well, let's just say people tend to have mixed feelings on it, uh, he kind of stepped down from the series, and now we have uh, both a new set of writers, the writers who wrote the, the Sp Insomniac Spider-Man games, which those games are greatly written, so fine by me, and a new director. Uh, so we have uh, this infusion of new blood gives me hope that uh, we're back on track, personally. All right. So, so I'm lo looking forward to it. The, um, the the weapons also look really. Uh, the new weapons also look really cool. And again, I'm really looking forward to seeing what exactly they do. I'm hoping the dimension hopping is not uh, just for uh, just for the for going from level to level. I hope they have to do something uh, more with it along from that. But again, we'll have to wait and see uh, what exactly they do. I'm actually I'm actually calling it right now. The um, the, uh, the the final boss is gonna be like taking place over the course of various dimensions, most likely. It's got um so yeah it, it could be uh, there's his name brian al guy al i don't know how to pronounce his name but he's a Kishiro, he directed the first the oh no oh, sorry i didn't write the first one he directed spyro 2 and 3 ratchet and clank 1 2 3 deadlocked uh tools of destruction quest for booty cracking time into the nexus and the 2016 reboot there you go so there you go so there you go Jovo. this guy was doing a good job until 2016 happened basically it seems <laughs> Oh, 2016 um, was a pretty crap year, so why not? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing he got to a point where he was um, creatively exhausted for, after directing so many games in a row. Something uh, happened and things went up in smoke. That's for sure. <laughs> well, whatever. Brian Al Al Jire, whatever how you pronounce his name, uh, is no longer. Uh, in fact, I don't think he's even in Sonic anymore. Uh, the point is, uh, we have new blood in the series, so hopefully things will get back on track. I, I, I'm confident they will, because Insomniac has done has been on a roll lately with uh, both Spider-Man and Miles Morales. So I'm definitely looking, and with the same writers on board, definitely looking forward to seeing what they do with Ratchet. All right, see, that's it. Um, see you then for the next uh, state of play, I guess. See ya. See ya. Bye.